I said I was going to give you some stretches that might help. I've been having a think and trying to play around with some things and I thought I would give you some things that might help you in the morning when you're still in bed and then some things that you could try during the day that might help with general general mobility <clears throat> um also thinking about core strength might help like with which is what we all do in the class so that's kind of there and i will go i do go through the mobility stuff in the class as well but these just these might help um for the during the day ones you might need like a tea towel or just something you can wrap around your foot i haven't i'm going with how it feels so i've got a few ideas but i'm just going with how it feels so when you are in bed i move back a little bit so see full body um this is assuming that you're lying on your back and you mentioned that you have trouble sometimes moving your legs or rolling over. Is it a numbness thing? Is there um, cramping or pain that is the issue? So let me know. But things I've been reading is that can help, especially post epidural if it's something related to that. You could do kind of foot pumps. So just hopefully you can see my my footsies. So just I like to alternate, but you can do both together, whatever works for you. Just to start getting the blood flowing, you could do some ankle circles one way and the other and they're quite small moves that you can do while the covers are still on so while you're just waking up and start going side to side and then when you're going side to side maybe you can start getting the legs a bit more involved so rotating the knee side to side and the hip and then when it comes to rolling over obviously if you've got no duvet on I'll, I'll say this side is the side I get out, even though I'm on the other side. But what can help, and this is kind of taken from kind of the first aid courses when you put someone in on their side, is crossing the leg over and doing that. And that automatically brings you around to the side and then you can get yourself up, swing the legs to the floor and get up, which is going to help with um, core recovery and diastasis recovery, just to help um, stop you from crunching up to get out of bed, which you said you roll over, so I'm assuming you're rolling over from your back. Um, yeah, so those kinds of things, if you've got time and you've covers off, then we can go through some others. So I'll stop this video and then I'll do a second video.